Okay, YouTube, here's uh, part two of the John Deere tractor split. So here it is, Labor Day weekend, and we got to work, and we're able to split the tractor and remove the clutch. So here you have it, two pieces. So this John Deere uh, 2355 has the sound guard cab and that presented uh, some unique problems when it came to splitting the tractor. Primarily these two upper bolts uh, here and here on the tractor. It's very difficult to get uh, a breaker bar to loosen these two top ones up. So what I did is I cut a hole on the side with my grinder and I got in there and I was able to uh, get this bolt off. Um, prior to that I took all of the uh, loader linkage, the loader arms off, the side mount supports, both battery boxes, undid the uh, air conditioning lines, the throttle linkage, the shutoff linkage, the three hoses on the top, the hydraulic for the brakes. On this side, undid uh, the hydraulic lines for the power steering uh, and the heater hose. Um, what I discovered is I was able to get this top bolt out but then I got to this side and I didn't really think it through and I realized I had all this emergency brake linkage in the way foot pedal for the throttle so went to plan B and that was to jack the cab up and it was actually very easy to do I should have done that in the beginning I don't recommend cutting a hole on the side like I did on the other side that's not the way to go uh, by taking the battery boxes off you gain access to this cab mount and it was uh, it was actually a lot easier to do it that way I was able to put a jack on the floor right here and I lifted it up about six inches all of the steering linkages um, clutch lines and all of the controls for the rock shaft were able to stay intact and I had plenty of room to get behind it you know from underneath and I was able to get that top bolt out so if anyone is in in the process of doing the same that's that's what I would recommend uh, you take the battery box is off. Take the two front cap mounts out. It's pretty simple. A couple bolts. And then just simply jack the cab up. That's the way to do it. Uh, in the John Deere manual, they have a specialty tool that supposedly you can get in from this access panel on the floorboard. Um, but you got to find your way up into here. It must be a series of universals. I, I don't know. But I think the easiest way to do it is the two front cab mounts. Now the rear cab mounts stayed intact. I didn't touch them. But you can see they're rubber mounted. You know, so you've got quite a pivot point. You can easily get four to six inches of clearance. Uh, the main culprit was definitely the clutch. The clutch disc is wiped out. You can see here there's nothing left of it. Uh, the flywheel, I'm going to turn the flywheel, that was pretty scarred up. Pilot Baron, I'll replace that. And I also noticed, and it's probably due to the fact that the clutch was slipping for so long, there was so much heat built up that the rear main seal is just starting to leak. So while the tractor's apart, now's the time to do it. So I'll, I'll start, get a rear main seal, Pilot Baron, clutch assembly. And here is the hydraulically actuated uh, slave cylinder. 
So I'm going to replace that as well. It doesn't make any sense to... I mean, it's not leaking, it's functioning fine, but... You know, you go through all this work, you put the tractor back together. You know, six months a year down the road, this, the slave cylinder goes, and you got to split it again. So, I'll just take the extra expense and uh, do it now. So basically, there you have it. Um, I was very fortunate. A friend of mine let me use his wheel loader. And I was able to cradle the engine with these straps. And once the bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, you know, it, it was easy to separate. And just, you know, block it up and walk it apart. Uh, so here it is Labor Day weekend. I hope to get it back together next weekend. I'll spend this week getting all the necessary parts. Hopefully that won't take too long. And we'll put it back together. And then we'll go to part three, which will be, uh, you know, hopefully having the tractor together, running, and everything working. So thanks for watching. Bye.